Café Tortoni first opened its doors in 1858, and it was named after a Parisian café by the same name. The place gained great notoriety in the mid-1920s, when it was frequented by a mix of writers, painters, musicians, poets, journalists, philosophers, inventors, and other creative minds. Today, it's a must-visit café for visitors passing through Buenos Aires. which is one of the oldest and most famous cafeterias in the whole city. And now, I think locals will probably tell you this is very touristy. I mean, it's only tourists with their cameras sitting in here. But regardless, it's a place that I think you should really visit. Like, the architecture is really cool. The furniture is kind of like frozen in time. And also, they make a pretty good hot chocolate. That's what I've got right here. I ordered chocolate con churros. Hold on, let me use this other hand. Let me use my strong hand. <laughs> But look That's at that. a big thing of coffee. Is that cream beside it too? Yeah, and I got frothy milk on the side. Oh my. But like, look at how thick that is. Let me get up closer. Ooh la la. Ooh, there's like some chocolatey chunks. Do some there. serious work. Do it from do it from higher up. I'm there we go. Okay, I should probably stop there. And I ordered that with churros which is kind of like a, a long strip of dough that's been deep fried. Yeah, it's kind of like a deep fried Spanish donut. Yeah, and it has granulated sugar sprinkled on yeah, top. Yeah, and they put a lot on Yeah, here. and of course, you have to dip it in the chocolate. Come on. <laughs> it has to be done. It's the only way to go. Yes. That's my lunch today, guys. <laughs> Hot chocolate. Healthy. Looks good. Almost good. You could use this as a straw to drink the hot chocolate. That would be amazing. This is actually one of their specialties here. They have two specialties of the house. One is called Leche Merengada, which we ordered. But this is really good. I can see why it's one of the suggested dishes. So yeah, look at that. Look at how it soaks up the chocolate. It's like a sponge inside. Like a thick sponge. And what do you have over there? And I've gone for the tostada. And that's basically a sandwich that has tomato, ham, and cheese. And it's like a grilled cheese sandwich. Yeah. This is premium because of the ham and the tomato. Yeah. So it's usually just ham and cheese, but this one is called tostada tortoni. Mm. Just because they've added the tomato. So that's their The their tomato special gives it sandwich. an extra kick, a little bit more juiciness. Juicy. You've we got like, crumbs all over your face. We like our juicy food. Yeah. And actually, while you were filming your surroundings, I got hungry. Hey! So. Cheater. <laughs> Cheater. I started eating without you. So we also ordered something called leche merengada because it's one of their, their other specialties here. But from the description, I thought it was going to be milk that tastes like meringue, but that looks like ice cream. Yeah, it does. It looks like there's, looks like there's cinnamon sprinkled over it. So it should taste like meringue, unless they've mixed up our order, <laughs> and we wouldn't know. Mm. Uh, that was kind of like ice cream. Kind of... Is it meringue flavored ice cream? Yeah, it is. Okay. And the cool thing is that there's so much cinnamon put on top that I, mean, I love cinnamon. Yeah, I can smell it from here, from across the table. <laughs> and that came with a little yeah. wafer. A little wafer. For cracker. I'm going to get another bite with more cinnamon. So yeah, it's a pretty cool place to stop for a little snack. I can see why that's a house specialty. I, I'm yeah. guessing that's homemade. It definitely tastes homemade. So we polished everything off, yes. except for the milk because we didn't want to dilute our <laughs> chocolate. Here's the bill. It came to $2.99 and that included the chocolate churros, the ballon, which is the beer, the merengada, which is the ice cream, and the to tostada tortoni, which is yeah. of course the sandwich. So yeah, it's a little bit pricey, tourist, touristy prices here. Mm -hmm. But you know, still not that bad. It's like 20 US dollars for four items on a menu. Yeah, and you're paying for the ambiance. Yes, you are. 